Are you accumulating ghost miles? Right. So today, let's really unpack this. We're going to look at how these instruments actually work, why they're so connected, and uh, what causes these little accuracy quirks. Sounds good. <laughs> and what's really fascinating here, right from the start, is that both speed and distance, yeah. they come from the same basic thing. Okay. It's all about the rotation how fast your wheels or sometimes the transmission output shaft are spinning. Whether it's an old bike with a cable or a new one. Exactly. Older systems used, you know, physical cables, spinning magnets, complex gears. Modern bikes, mostly electronic. They use wheel speed sensors that generate electrical pulses. Simpler, maybe. In concept, perhaps. But the key thing, the, uh, the critical link, as you called it, is how the data is used now. Go on. Well, usually there's a single speed sensor. It sends raw rotation data straight to the bike's brain, the engine control unit, or ECU. Got it. The ECU. And here's the important part. The ECU takes that one stream of data, mm -hmm. and it calculates both your current speed for the speedometer and the distance traveled for the odometer. Ah, so they're not just related. They're basically running off the exact same calculation processed from the same input. Precisely. They're intrinsically linked. Same source, same initial processing. Okay, so if that's the case, why do we see that difference between the speedo and the GPS? 